I, I, I first of all, I'd like to, to thank C and Piki. This is uh, the, the uh, who supports my 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 research and the uh, INCT as well. So I would like to thank this. Okay, I will talk about thermodynamics of the Ramsey zone. This is a uh, 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 Ramsey zone. I will talk about this a little bit because I'm not sure if you from your. And Ciro Genis, who is a, a PhD student, and Professor Celso uh, Ramsey Zon and the Hamiltonian model correspond. So I'll talk a little bit about, about the definitions of heat, work, and entropy. To, to analyze the thermodynamics of the run season and present uh, my results. Uh, this is not all results that we have. We, this, this work was submitted. There is a lot of uh, results more, but uh, I will compact the results to, to be more concise. What, what is the run season? Run season is a cavity. This is a I'm not sure if it is, you're, uh, you're seeing my pointer. This is my pointer. Can you see this? Me by pointer. And two mirrors, uh, and the inside the cavity, the, 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 there is a two level atom. This, this two. And uh, the cavity is pumped by a laser field with amplitude epsilon. And uh, uh, this uh, the kappa, the this is the kappa dissipation rate. And uh, the atom field coupling is G. If uh, the Ramsey zone works properly, then the atom, which is the cat uh, from the left, uh, uh, the atom suffers a pure rotation, so the atom, there is no entanglement between the atom and the field, and uh, it is the signal that the Ramsey zone works properly. This is a very well uh, 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 tool to investigate the cube covered by the atom. The cube, which is, is well known, is the uh, building blocks of the quantum computation and quantum information. And uh, what is interesting here is that the, during the evolution, there is only one photon on the average inside the cavity. Uh, the cavity is cooled to near absolute zero. And there is a, a something unexpected behavior here because if you have on average one photon, you expect a quantum behavior. It is con and because this quantum behavior, you, you, would, you would expect an entanglement uh, between the atom and the field. But if, as I said, if the Ramsey is on, works properly, then there is no entanglement and a purely rotation is applied on the atom and the field is, uh, is uh, uncorrelated from the, the atom. This Ramsey zone was well studied by these two main groups, these two, one from France, one from Germany. And uh, so I will, I, will, I will talk about the model. To model the Ramsey zone, uh, we have uh, this, from the first term, we have the cavity field, the two level atoms here, and there is a G discoupling between the so the pumping. This is the annihilation operator corresponding to the field. And the reservoir terms is uh, included using the master equation, a well-known technique to treat open system. Uh, the unit type to level atom, and this is the Field, which means that the 
the coupling between the reservoir and the frequencies of reservoir coupling. This is uh, we also we assume down to near zero absolute. Okay, this is the model. Uh, which is interesting. This is not my result. This is a, 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 a result by these uh, guys. But in I have uh, just the one quantum here. Uh, state. So uh, they deduced an effective Hamiltonian in this effective effect. This G appears here, the pumping appears here. So for uh, doing pure, pure rotations uh, uh, on, on the atom. So the atom goes uh, uh, as during the whole evolution, he, he doesn't get entangled with the field. This is a, a very low, a well-known result in, opti in quantum optics and the interesting as well. So uh, the, the authors, they don't explain, but we question, where is the classical element responsible for preventing the atom field in time? So what we, what we are asking is, uh, in order to the atom not to, to be entangled with the field, it's necessary a, a, a classical resource. In this, what, what, where is this classical resource? Since the cavity on average has just one photon and the atom is a qubit, a, a, a quantum state, so where is the classical element? Do we think that these authors missed this question, although they explain very well this rotation being, being occurring, but uh, we, 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 yes, we guess that uh, this, this question deserves to uh, be answered. Where is the classical element responsible for preventing the atom field in time? Because if the elements are purely quantum, they should be in time. What's happened here? This is one of the questions we want to answer. Okay, uh, now I define here to work in entropy as well. Uh, here is where quantum optics meet quantum thermodynamics. Uh, a key point in thermodynamics is, as is well known, is that quantum, uh, of course, in quantum, quantum thermodynamics as well, is uh, where is the system or who is the system or what is the system? Our system is in the atom on. So uh, in the Ramsey zone, we are interested on the atom alone. So we analyze heat, work, and entropy fluxes exchanged by the atom and its surroundings. If the atom is, is our system, so we analyze heat flux, work flux from the point of view of the, the point of view of the atom. Here are the basics. The heat flux is given by this formula, and to have a heat flux we need to have and for having work we have to have a variation of in the Hamiltonian this is important and uh, uh, we, we, we use the von Neumann entropy as the entropy uh, uh, relevant for our, for our study this is well known result from, from quantum thermodynamics Quantum thermodynamics is a uh, uh, first. It's uh, receiving a lot of attention. There is a several. Uh, uh, What is the thermodynamical entropy? I want to do this debate here, uh, but uh, why we choose the phenomenal entropy? Uh, describe it here. Uh, the phenomenal entropy is well known that uh, 
von Neumann Entropie ist This last property is uh, well suited to our pr proposal because uh, we can use von Neumann which of, of course, is, as I said, is our system. So when uh, the atom uh, evolves poorly or evolves uh, without uh, uh, Please no for state. And of course, the field is in uh, uh, surround. And uh, when we trace over the freedom degrees of the other variables other than the atom, the atom gets. Measures the purity of the atomic cube. Okay, um, so uh, uh, an important point here is that uh, because when the RMC zone operates properly, the atom undergoes a pure rotation, as I said, and uh, von Neumann entropy is new. Otherwise, there will be the atom field entanglement. Uh, this, uh, this atom field entanglement is also quantified. Of course, the von Neumann entropy is then an indicative of zero radiation fields. By the field, the atom is surrounded by the field, it is surrounded by the reservoir, and uh, uh, only the atom is our system. And if the atom gets entangled, this represents a uh, hit for our. Problem. Okay, now uh, let me present uh, the methods. Uh, as we have seen, the run season is modeled by this Hamiltonian. The relevant parameters of the Hamiltonian is G, the coupling, the frequencies which we can put equal uh, without loss of generality to analyze the run season. Okay, a uh, problem emerging here is that according to the definition of uh, hit, uh, work flux, we need to have a, a variation in the Hamiltonian in order to have a work in occurring. Mm -hmm. uh, done or uh, uh, work done on the atom or by the atom. So we need to develop a method to treat this and to, and, uh, we, and to analyze uh, what the work is uh, going to the, the, the atom. So the, uh, the, the first method or the first strategy I will present is that um, we call this the strategic A. First, we move to a rotating frame according to the interaction picture. So we, uh, we we get this Hamiltonian, which is time independent. And then in step B, we include the Liouvillian in dynamics of the atom field. This is the Liouvillian for the atom in the field. Uh, but uh, as we saw here, we, we have no variation in the Hamiltonian. So we need a step, one more step. And we apply the entire rotation. This is the displacement operator with alpha, this parameter is adjusted. Uh, such that alpha is this is related to the pumping of the field into dissipation. So this is the uh, the relation we here. And so uh, now we, after some algebra, we re rewrite this. We rewrite this state of the atom field. We obtain this Hamiltonian, this two Hamiltonian. But uh, yet you see that. Uh, we have no variation in Hamiltonian. So we need one step more. And this uh, one step more is just doing an approximation. This is the approximation. To be more, much less than the. Well, uh, a technique named adiabatic elimination. Uh, and so when we trace out the degrees of freedom of the field, we get the just the 
the row for the atom alone and as the atom is our, our system. So the atom is now uh, uh, written in the, in the form of the Liouvillian and the uh, term given by unitary operation. But now you see that this Hamiltonian is time dependent. So we succeed in having a Hamiltonian that depends on time and we can associate work with this uh, uh, Hamiltonian. And the gamma effective is this the real or, or effective uh, dissipation rate for the atom. Uh, what is interesting then is that we have now a, a time dependence and, and we can study the flux of work uh, being, or being through the atom or out of the atom through this relation. And of course, it, because uh, this is uh, in the dynamic, this is a variation of rho, this term will be associated with heat as well. So we can, now we can uh, calculate heat and work based on this equation. This equation has uh, 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 one problem that is this strategy is, limit, is limited to the, to the result that the, this approximation should be taken into account. Okay, okay, uh, uh, someone, okay. The, uh, because the, limit, the this limitation of the strategy A, we now develop another strategy which is more general and uh, suited to, to be treated numerically. And we turn to the exact atom field equation. This is the exact atom field equation. Uh, and uh, we apply this uh, uh, displacement operator uh, and uh, we turn to the shoulder of the field. So we achieve this, uh, this equation, which is this basically on a, a numerical, a numerical procedure. So when we treat this uh, this is the reference and the uh, flux uh, related to the energy that is passing through the atom, going from or going out, uh, going in or going out the atom. Okay. I'd like to present. Uh, and uh, this is the average population of the Q. Uh, you see the work. Atom. Uh, uh, when the we start from the initial state, the the atom go uh, grounds through the superposition of excited and and uh, ground state and. During this whole evolution, the purity is, is kept. It's null because the state of the atom becomes, uh, 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 retains or maintains its purity. Okay, so during this whole evolution, to these parameters where G is much lesser than kappa, the dissipation, G is the uh, uh, coupling between the atom and the field, but uh, the dissipation, uh, this, the dissipation is much greater than G. So uh, we can see that the, uh, the entropy, in, uh, if actually the entropy rescaled, the entropy normalized, the entropy is, the scale for the entropy is on the right, uh, such that the entropy starts from zero and gets to one. The entropy is zero, uh, of course, for pure state, 
and maximum in this case for a maximum mixed state. A max, uh, the, when the atom becomes maximally mixed, then the entropy is maximum. Okay, let's pay attention only to these two, uh, two gaps for, for right. Uh, here, the at atom evolves purely. A rotation is being applied and the Ramsey zone is, uh, has worked successfully. Time X for Q, there is no heat because between the atom and the and the end only the heat flux is on heat uh, only the, the heat is zero during the whole time only work is being produced or only energy in in, in form of work is being exchanged with the atom uh, so when the Ramsey zone works properly, uh, the heat is zero, the work is zero. The entropy being zero means that the state of the atom is pure. Okay, if we now change the order of kappa, we see that uh, now, the entropy is not uh, zero anymore. It starts to increase and then stabilize in a, in a value that is not zero. This means that the atom gets entangled with the environment. Uh, so when we trace out on, uh, on the field, we, we, we find the state of the atom is maximum or in this case maximum, but it gets entangled, it's important. And we expect that in this case, there is no work because uh, there is only heat being exchanged with the, uh, with, the, with the field. So we have for the entropy, uh, no null value for the entropy. In, in this case now, the work is null because the, the atom gets entangled with the environment and now heat is being produced, okay? Uh, of course, if we, Change these parameters, we can get both. Uh, we can get both heat and the work being produced. In, this is a, a result we, we show that uh, the entropy, for example, uh, goes to goes to one being mixed mixed uh, the atom being mixed mixed maximum, and uh, heat is being produced, and heat uh, and the work which is in blue work goes to zero in this case. And uh, uh, of course, as I said, we can change parameters to see both work and, uh, uh, and the heat being produced. And, and now we see that the heat and work is being produced. And uh, the entropy gets to some value, meaning that the atom gets entangled. And this behavior that uh, uh, we see it depends on the run season being worked or not properly. Um, okay, let me turn to the, the result I said that is interesting because why, uh, why there is no atom field entanglement if the average number of photons into the cavity is of order of unity. This is the point. Uh, we know that the run zone works perfectly when J is much lesser than epsilon. I show uh, I showed a graph, a graph where, where, where uh, for G much lesser than epsilon, the zone, the Ramsey zone works properly. So this is the condition we have. This means that the G must be uh, uh, much lesser than this term is neglected, and we have just the, this pumping. This pumping term is what is responsible for displace the the vacuum to the coherent state. The coherent state was as was. Uh, is, uh, presented by Professor Anas Ahmed uh, in, in session session one, and this is the coherent state at, at the final, and this is uh, of course the 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 number of photons related to the flux. Or why I say flux because the, the pumping epsilon 
is creating in the uh, creating photons which cross the cavity, which depends on time and depends on the amplitude of the the the, the field. Okay, this is the any flux. On the other hand, the number of photons that actually remain inside the cavity. <laughs> Sorry? Sorry? Can I continue? Let's see, let's see. Uh, this is the, the flux of the photons crossing the cavity, but uh, the, on the other hand, the photons of the pumping and the losses uh, due to this dumping rate. And if you require that the cavity has only one photon on average, then we see that the, uh, the, 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 flux, the, the flux crossing the cavity is given by this K squared T squared. And when we look to this Hamiltonian, we are able to analyze when uh, we, we require just a, a pi rotation, that uh, this, uh, uh, this, this this epsilon g over kappa, of course, this is only in, in, in absolute value. Photons crossing the cavity is kappa squared over g squared. And finally, taking experimental values used in this reference I showed you from uh, from German group and from uh, French group, we, we are able to estimate kappa over g as 10 power three. So the total number that passes through the cavity is huge, is of the order of 10 power six. So this is in our point, this in, from our point of view, explain why uh, although on average you have just one photon inside the cavity, but on the other hand, you need to have uh, 10 power six uh, photons crossing the cavity during the, the whole evolution of the, the atom. This is the classical element uh, we believe was missing in the an, an analysis of the, 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 those authors. And uh, so this is an interesting result. To present my conclusions, uh, in this work, uh, we calculate heat, work, entropy exchanged by the atom with its surround, surrounding. The atom is our system. Also, we demonstrate that a large quantity of photons and hence energy is required to produce ideal rotation. And we shed light on the classical behavior of the atom interacting with the cavity mode field, which uh, the cavity mode field having n of the order of one photon on average. So this is the result. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.